Hi artists, today we're going to talk about Keith Haring and do a design in his style. We've read the book, Keith Haring, The Boy Who Just Kept Drawing. Did you know the author of the book is K.A. Haring, Keith's sister? Keith Haring did fun, playful, simple art that everyone could enjoy. His art stood out because of the fun lines, simple colors, and bold marks. Keith Haring did art about hearts, people, dogs, all kinds of things. But his heart art is what we're going to look at today. This is the piece we are going to be inspired by. So get out your paper and crayons and be ready to draw like Keith Haring. You can start with a pencil if you'd like, white piece of paper, you're going to end up using markers, crayons, whatever you like to draw with. Start on your white piece of paper and draw the biggest square you can on the paper. You can use a crayon to draw this or a pencil or a marker. I'm going to use a black crayon. I like the marks it makes. It reminds me of some of the chalk drawings I saw Keith Haring do. Okay, ready? We're gonna start with the people's heads. They're like upside down U shapes, really simple. They go towards the bottom of the paper. When you're done with the heads, draw two lines on either side of the head these are the shoulder parts, the top shoulders of the people. Under the shoulder line, draw two little marks on each side. These are underarms. And then connect those underarms to the bottom of the paper to draw the body of the people. Now you're going to connect two lines from the arm lines and these lines go up towards the top of the paper. These are like where the elbows bend. Remember, don't worry if the arms are longer, shorter, thinner. When you're done with the arms, add the rounded hands at the end of each each arm and there you're done with your two people for now. Behind the people like they're holding it up or touching it together, please draw a huge heart in your square. And then to make your art look like it's glowing or wiggling or moving, Add little motion lines around the heart. All right, artist Keith Haring added a red heart on his black and white drawing. You can use whatever color you want. Keith Haring thought it's your art. You should make it for you. I chose a red heart in crayons. But if you wanted to use markers or change the color of your heart, you can. Keith Haring used a lot of primary colors in his art, bright, bold, fun colors. I chose yellow and blue to go with the red heart because I love the primary colors. But artists, you can color in your art any way you want. You can use markers, you could paint it if you have paint, you could even doodle on it after you're done coloring it. Good luck, artists. Thanks for being awesome.